The video you are about to see was extracted directly from BIM After Dark Volume 2. To see more, head on over to BIMAfterDark.com and select Volume 2. In the previous videos, we've taken our floor plans, we've made overall floor plans, we've made partial floor plans, we've made blow up plans, we've made code plans, reflective ceiling plans with their parts. We've also made sections, wall sections and building sections. We made our exterior, interior, and curtain wall elevations. So all those views are not detailed, but they're set up and they're ready to be put on sheets. The next step that I usually do is I'll set up my sheets and place all the views on the sheets before I go back and start detailing and adding all of the rest of the notes and everything else you want. So what I want to show you really quickly is how I create sheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down in the project browser if you want, you can minimize some of the stuff. It's up to you. And you can see there's no sheets being created yet, or there's no sheets created in this model. If I right click, and I say new sheet, it's going to look for whatever sheets are loaded in this project. It looks like there's one already loaded, but I'm going to load a new one. And I'm going to point to the sample files, which you guys have. And under families, there's title blocks. So again, that was under Sample Files, 05 Families, Title Blocks. So I'm actually going to bring in the ARC E1 30 by 42, and I'm also going to bring in the cover now. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to say Open. That's going to bring in both of these. So now if I select one of them that came in, which is 30 by 42, and I click OK, you'll see it came in. One thing you might notice on some of these sheets is that the font actually goes beyond the title block border. And that was a screw up on my part when I created it, so I figured I would leave that in here so I can show you, if, you've, if you run across it, I can show you how to fix it. So I'm going to edit the family. If you select that text, there's a little checkbox that says wrap between parameters only. Uncheck that box. You can do the same with the project address if you'd like and the sheet name. So now it'll actually wrap below. Let me load this back. I'm going to overwrite and you can see right away it wrapped below. So I wanted to leave that in there just so that you guys can see what happens and how, how to fix it if that happens to you. So if I scroll down now I created a new sheet called 103. So we're going to start I'm going to rename it to the first sheet in my series. So I'm going to start with a101 and then I'm going to create A101.2, A101.3, etc. So A101. If you want you can name it now or you can name it later. I'm not going to name it just yet. Now what we can do is we can either right click where it says sheets and create a new sheet and do the same thing over and over again. Or as long as there's no views on your sheets you can actually copy and paste them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type control C on my keyboard and then control V. And you'll see right away it actually pastes a102. So it's going to go in order. A103. We only want up to A103 and the next one I'm going to paste is A104. I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it A110. That's going to be our roof plan. So the more I look at this the more I think maybe the basement should be A100. So let me just quickly rename these the first floor should be A101 or level 1 and the second floor should be A102. So let me just rename those. So now we're going to do the same thing to create our part sheets. So if I was to create a new sheet or just again copy and paste it's going to go to A103 whatever's in series but if I rename it and I say A100.1 you see there I can copy paste and it's going to do A100.2 so again, I'm doing control C and control V on my keyboard. As long as there's no views on the sheets, you can do this. And it's a very, very quick way to create sheets. So again, I can now I can paste one more, which is A100.3, which we're not going to need because we only have two parts. And I'll rename it A101.1. And again, copy, paste, and we have A101.2. So you see the reason I'm doing this is a lot fa it's a lot faster to create sheets instead of going to new sheet and clicking it and going through the process. I'll paste another one. I'll say A10, A102.1. I'll copy that one, paste it. And so now all of a sudden we've got 
all of our floor plan sheets and our roof plan. Our roof plan, we're going to need part plans too, I believe. So I'll rename it A110.1. Copy paste. Now we're going to make one more view. We'll paste another one. And we're going to start with A, let's just say A111. This will be our roof details or something. Now I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste another one. And now I'm going to start my elevations. So A200. And from here, we're not sure how many elevations that we have yet. Some people do a cartoon set before all this. I just figure it's easy enough to delete or add sheets. We'll do it this way. So I'm just going to assume that we have three sheets. So I'm going to do copy. I'm going to paste and paste. And you can see there we have A200 through A202. I'm going to paste one more. And I'm going to rename this one A300. Now these are going to be our wall sections. So here let's say there's going to be five. So I'm just going to copy that. Control C. Control V. I'm going to paste five of them. So there we got one through five. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to rename this one. And this is going to be A401 or 400. Uh, let's, let's do 401. This is going to be our door schedule. So we'll leave that as is. You can see how I'm quickly creating the sheets by simply copying and pasting. 